In this video, we're going to look at the functions of the ATX1 oscillator. ATX1 is an analog oscillator with ART input 1V octave and can also serve as an LFO. The mode switch allows us to toggle between those modes. So when it's red, it's in ART mode. When it's yellow, it's 1V octave. And when it's dark, it's LFO. So let's start with the ART mode. In ART mode, the function of these two knobs the one labels frequency and this one labels fine, are to adjust the frequency as an octave switcher and a detune. So let's try to hear that. I'm going to plug the audio. And as you can see, we can go between three octaves here. So this knob, the frequency knob, is turning into an octave switcher when the oscillator is in art mode. The fine is very important because when it sets to zero in this position, it's precisely on the pitch of the note that you are playing. However, if you want to tune that a little bit different, you can start to go up. And that changes the frequency. Not by much, just enough to create nice detuning effects. Up to the point where it starts going to semitones, jumps, and a full octave. So Let's see it again. So from zero to about halfway, it's just slight detune. And from halfway and up, it's jumps of semitones, full semitones, up to plus one octave. So quite important to understand that when you have multiple voices playing together, you might want to start when they're all at zero, and then start playing with that to find the sound that you like and deviate it from precise pitch. The other functions, there's a wave shaper control here, so we can go between sine wave, a triangle wave, a sawtooth, and a square wave. And the square wave have a pulse width modulation. That is also voltage control. The wave shaper is also voltage control. And we have an FM input. Now in art mode, the FM input is quite narrow and the reason for that is because it's mostly emphasized for protomento effects. Sync is provided as well. Sync is an interesting effect as it takes the things uh, coming out of the oscillator and makes them a little more metallic. And there's a gate out that is used in art mode as well when arts receive notes on the art input, you will see the gate out, LED flashing, and the gate signal sends to your envelope, sequencers, or whatever. When used in uh, 1V octave mode, we're gonna go and we're gonna select 1V octave. In this mode, the frequency turns into full range frequency control, and the fine tune is just fine tune. Let's try another wave. Now in that mode, that input is turning from an art input into a 1V octave input. So you can use any 1V octave equipped sequencer. And plug it in here, just like your ordinary analog oscillators. And everything else here stays the same. The FM range is getting extended. Let's use, for example, this ATX1 in LFO mode. Let's take with a sine wave. Let's take the audio out, plug it into the FM. And let's do some FMing. So we can see that in LFO mode, cycle can be very slow and all the way up to audio range for the modulation. In the same way, I can modulate pretty much any of the parameters here. Let's try the wave shape. It goes between the shapes. Or we can go and do pulse width modulation. ATX is very simple to operate. You 
can go between the modes very quickly. There's nothing that prevents you from switching for whichever mode with whatever cables that are connected in. Turn the audio down. In art mode, you will need to tune the oscillator for the first time when you're going to install it in your case. And from time to time, you might need to do auto tuning as we show in previous videos. And that summarizes all the functions of the ADX-1.